What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and today I have two 3 star attacks for you. First up is this Town Hall 8 Goal Wipe attack and Callum is going to use back end hogs in order to finish this base off and turn it into the 3 star. The second attack I have for you is at Town Hall 9 and also uses back end hogs so really highlighting the effect of using them troops to take out the back end defences. So starting off for this one, we're going to lure the defending clan castle with a hog. It's a dragon and most of the time at Town Hall 8, that is what it will be. Use two poisons to take that out. Remember you have to let the first one do the damage before you put the second one in. Or you can further use the poison spell by drawing the troops out and slowing them down as you take them out with your own troops. Moving on, Callum is attacking from the southern part of the base, so he has a golem in either side with his wizards behind in order to create that nice wide funnel. You'll see that all of the outside buildings on the bottom half of the base are completely gone, so any troops coming in are going to move into the base now. That means he can now bring in his stronger troops in order to make a push right into the center of the base. So he actually has a Valkyrie either side as they're a little bit tanky and they do help to get through them walls. He then has a Pekka and his king and once they make their way into the middle and start distracting some of them back end defenses, he can then bring his hogs in in order to take them out and turn this into the three star attack. Now you'll see they just fancied a bit of a walkabout, so the Pekka decides to come out, the King does too, and then turns around and goes back. Not sure what was going on there, but they are in the centre, and as soon as that wizard tower on the left starts targeting the troops in the middle, you'll see he's in with the hogs. Now you bring them in on separate defences, so targeting them in, and what this does, as the defences on the back end are targeting the troops in the middle, it allows the hogs to come in, unscathed, without being attacked, and take them straight out. Now obviously, not all of the defences will be targeting the troops in the middle. In this case, the cannon and the archer tower weren't. But three hogs on each of them, especially when he had a heal spell there as well, was more than enough to take that out, run in and take the other defences out, and it means the troops in the middle can take some of the fire. They don't have to then bust out of the core in order to get to them defences. And you'll see he's just left with cleanup and a very comfortable and great three-star attack. So I would highly recommend if you don't already, especially at Town Hall 8, it's a good place to start mixing in some hogs or balloons in order to take out them back end defences because you have to take them into consideration if you're going to be planning your 3 star attack. Moving on to the next raid, this is a Town Hall 9 attack by Justin and he again is coming in with more of a standard go wipe but he also has them hogs for the back end defences and you'll see again just how much it really does help transform this into the 3 star attack. So as I was talking about before, he actually uses the poison in this case to slow down the dragon, pops in a few barbarians in order to take it out with minimal loss of troops from his own. From there, if you're used to go wipe style attacks, this will all be familiar to you. He's making his funnel, bringing his stronger troops in, and access to the center of the base was created with them four earthquake spells at the start of the raid. And there are many ways to skin a cat, and on this one, Justin is keeping all of his hogs together for the back end. And that's because he's not really relying on them troops in the centre to be distracting as much for the hogs. He's bringing them in and because the defences are quite tightly compact, he can use a heal spell in order to maintain it through the defences. And you'll see just how much space it is carved there, which would have been defences raining down on them peckers if he hadn't have used the hogs to take them out. He then has his remaining poison spell since he drew the dragon out at the start in order to use that on the skeleton trap to help with his hogs. And we have five valiant hog riders trotting across to take out the remaining expo, but there's a giant bomb, there's a spring trap, and only one left battling the expo all by himself. Can he solo it? It's going to be very close because it's going right down here, and he gets it with the last swing of the hammer, and literally 1% health left. So there you have it guys, what better way can I demonstrate the use of hog riders than that? A loaded expo is no match for a guy on a pig. And that will wrap it up for the video today, so if you are used to using go wipe style attacks, maybe start planning in some troops for them back end defences. I've showed you two examples there from a standard go wipe attack using the hog riders for the back end defences. And I appreciate a lot of people watching my channel will be doing this stuff already, so please drop me a comment down below Let me know how you like to take out the back end defences on a base when planning your three star attack. Because as with everybody, I always try to improve on my own attacks, so I will be interested to know what you guys say. 
Make sure to subscribe for more three Star War attacks. I've been your host, Juno Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.